Hey everybody, uh, Dixon back. If you haven't noticed, there's one thing that I truly hate in the world. Uh, it's bigotry and prejudice and and bullies. I, I can't stand bullying. Uh, it, it just... And, and you know why uh, I'm that way and why I have such a hatred toward bigotry? It's because my whole entire fucking childhood I was fat shamed. And even even to the even even uh food restricted as well and when you know when i was a little kid i was five or ten pounds overweight and before i was fat shamed i didn't have an eating disorder but then once the fat shaming started and the hatred from certain people in my family um started i turned to food um number one i was deprived at times of food and number two became a coping mechanism uh, and being fat shamed is what created my eating disorder. Uh, and I've been struggling with it my whole entire life. And I'm probably going to wind up getting surgery. That's what I'm looking at now because my eating disorder is so severe in that I haven't been able to lose weight. So I'm working on that and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Uh, and I'm not ashamed to be fat and I've worked on that for many, many, many years. I'm not ashamed of my body. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm proud of who I am. And I'm proud of people like Lizzo. So anyhow, yesterday, Jillian Michaels, a woman who I've hated for many, many years now, literally hate her. I don't hate many people, but she's one of them, kind of like Donald Trump. Uh, I, hate, I hate Jillian Michaels, and I've hated her for so long now. And yesterday, she said, uh, Lizzo won't be so awesome if she gets diabetes. Well, Twitter has kind of put her in her place, but <laughs> I just want to say a few words to Jillian Michaels and let her know the reason why I hate her and people like her. Uh, number one is probably because of PTSD from being fat shamed my whole goddamn childhood. Number two, uh, it's because I watched you humiliate and fat shame people on a national television show for fucking money. And Jillian Michaels, here's the truth about you. You know that fat shaming is toxic. You know that it doesn't help anybody from compulsive overeating or binge eating disorder. That's a psychological, scientific, empirical fucking fact. And you fucking know that. If you studied CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavioral therapy, acceptance commitment therapy, you know that shaming in any form including especially fat shaming contributes to all eating disorders another fact so Jillian your your behavior on the greatest loser was supported by our nation and you fed into that toxic dysfunctional prejudice and bigotry that you harbor in your heart toward fat people and you pretend oh and, and as all fat shamers do oh I just want to help them I'm not bigoted toward fat people I don't hate fat people I just want to hate them no you fucking hate fat people you're a fucking bigot and that's the truth about you because you know goddamn well how toxic it is to treat people with eating disorders that way you know exactly what you're doing Jillian Michaels so you're feeding into toxic beauty standards when you fat shame people. You're feeding into toxic diet culture, which only contributes often to more eating disorders because they're not sustainable. Most, most of the, our diet culture is not sustainable. It's not about losing weight. It's about fucking making money. It always has been. That's what diets are. They're about making money for other people. They're not about helping anybody. And our fucked up beauty standards, I, there's thousands and thousands of little girls right now in eating disorder clinics because they think they're fat. Not all of them, but but fat shaming is part of toxic beauty standards and diet toxic diet culture is why so many little girls and women right now are literally filled in eating disorder clinics all around the nation. Some with feeding tubes in the, in the hospital on the edge of death because of our fucked up culture of bigotry and hatred toward fat people and sick, toxic beauty standards that say, if you're not skinny, you're not pretty. 
as well as our media, our entertainment, and everything supports all these six standards. And Jillian Michaels, you're the queen of these six standards, the toxic standards, by fat shaming publicly and nationally. So grow the fuck up, Jillian Michaels. Learn that fat shaming is not helping anybody. Study some goddamn psychology. But I think you know goddamn well what you're doing. It's just your your own fear of it, uh, and hatred toward fat people has overwhelmed your goddamn common sense. And yeah, it's that simple. So Jillian Michaels, I hope to one day lose weight, but I won't be doing it for fucking ignorant assholes like you. I'll be doing it for my own self. And guess what? Lizzo will never be a fucking diabetic as long as she's active. Unless she has horrible genes, which she probably doesn't. But have you seen Lizzo's routine? She does cardio like crazy. So I say, let's celebrate people like Lizzo with beautiful, voluptuous bodies, men and women, no matter what size they are. Let's celebrate all of humanity in all its forms and all its colors. And let's say no to bigotry and fat shaming and racism and homophobia and fat phobia and everything. Sexism, misogyny. Let's say no to all that sick shit. And let's find some fucking humanity and do a lot of fucking healing. Because the only species on earth that's holding us back is human beings. That's all I got to say.